In this video, I'm going to discuss what I think the number one mistake is for do-it-yourselfers when they do their first time drywall tape and mud project. They go out and buy this bucket of pre-mix and they start spreading their joint compound. There's nothing wrong with this pre-mix, but you have to water it down. It comes way too thick. Now, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, I don't recommend you buying the dry compound and mixing it yourself. You really need a big heavy-duty mixer when you're mixing that. You can take this pre-mix, I'm going to show you the correct water to mix ratio, and you can mix it up with a cordless drill with a small paddle. Now keep watching and I'm going to show you the exact formula, give yourself some thinner joint compound. Just remember, thin to win. Thinner compound is going to be smoother, less sanding, less defects once you get your paint up. Right, so I've got a fresh bucket of joint compound here to show you the demonstration. This is exactly what it's going to look like when you take the top off. Now a lot of newbies will take this compound and just start doing their tape in mud. And this stuff is just way too thick. Now I've seen some other YouTube videos where they'll thin it down and they'll just hold you their taping knife and say make it about this thin. Well that doesn't help you much. So what I'm going to show you is you can just get one of these mud pans uh, at Menards or Home Depot. It's about 14 inches long, about two and a half inches deep. Go ahead and fill this up with this joint compound. Get it all the way filled up to the top and you're gonna want an empty five gallon bucket. And then we're gonna add the proper amount of water and I'll show you how to mix it. All right, as you can see, I've got the mud pan pretty well filled to the top. We're gonna go ahead and put this into the five gallon bucket. Get all the mud out of the mud pan into the bucket. And if you look in the bottom, there's going to be about two inches thick of joint compound. And we need to add the water. Now, not everyone's going to carry around a cup from your kitchen, but we're going to add one cup of water. Now, if you don't have that, pretty much everybody's going to have a bottle of water laying around. So if you look at the bottom of your water bottle, it's going to be about an inch in a quarter up from the bottom. It's about how much water you're gonna to wanna to add to the compound. Then we're gonna go ahead and mix it up. You have to use just a half inch cordless drill and a small mixing paddle. You don't want a big paddle because that's just gonna burn up your drill if you're doing a big project. Cordless drill, small mixing paddle, we'll mix this right up. So once you've got that mixed up, it's time to apply your tape and mud. So that's the easiest way I can give you a formula of how to thin your joint compound. One mud pan full of pre-mix with one cup of water. Mix it up nice and smooth. It's going to apply nice and thin. You're going to have less sanding. And you're probably going to do a better job than if you're to hire a professional. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.